It's safe to say that one of Anime Studio's biggest draws is the bone system. Being able to animate your characters as puppets is a feature that many people use who use the software. And so it's nice to know that with 9.5, we now have some ways to organize the bones easier. It's such a small addition, yet I think it's going to make a big impact, at least when it comes to my works, because I'll definitely be using this stuff to organize my own characters and bone structures. So to demonstrate this, I have my purple character thing on the screen. I'm still not quite sure what he is. He's kind of a demented grape or something. But anyway, with the character bone selected and my select bone tool selected, I can come in here, for instance, and highlight this group of bones. Now you could do one bone at a time. You could do multiple bones. It just depends on how you want to do this. And at the top here, I now have two new options. I can show label or I can change the color. So if I click on plain for the color and let's say choose blue, you can see now that the color of the bones has changed. Now again, this might be great if you need to distinguish between two sets of bones. For instance, you can see that my body bones are intersecting with my other arm bones that are behind the character. You can see there's an arm right there. So what I could do now is taking that select bone tool again, I could come in here and select my body bones as an example, and we can make those yellow. So now you can definitely tell that those are a different color. And then we come in here and then come up to the color selector, and we can make then the arm bone, let's say red. and now you can definitely tell there's a difference between those two sets of bones so it's easier to look at from a glance and I think that can save a lot of time when it comes to working on your characters or your bone structures now the show label what that will do for you is simply show the label of your bone as you can see we have the labels right there and we name our bones when we are working in anime studio especially if you're doing smart bones because once you name a bone, then that's how you place the action to create the smart bone action. And so that could be useful. Again, instead of going through and clicking to make sure what's the name of that bone, well, you could just have your labels present at all times so you know exactly what bone is what when it comes to creating your smart bone actions. And finally, one cool thing relating to the colored bone system here is let's say now we want to animate this out. Well, I can come in here and create that animation of the arm moving up just as an example. You can see now on my timeline that we now have a channel for the blue bone. So this can be really easy to work with now. So now you know when you are looking at your channels, oh yeah, the blue bones, those were animated out. Oh yeah, that's my arm because it has the blue bones. And so I think as I start working with this myself, I'm going to definitely find this to be of use and hopefully you guys do too. That's why I'm making this tutorial so you know about it. But anyway, that's all I have for you today. If you're looking for more tutorials on Anime Studio, Flash, Premiere, this is the place. So be sure to subscribe or you can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Google Plus, or Pinterest. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you next time.